Hello friends, welcome back. When we create drawings in AutoCAD, we make use of objects like line, circle, arc, polyline, ellipsis, polygons, etc. But you may be good at freehand sketching and you prefer it especially when you create objects like trees, plants, birds, clouds, etc. because it gives us a lot of flexibility and freedom. Is there any method in AutoCAD to perform freehand sketching? Yes, in AutoCAD we can do that with the help of the sketch command. In this video, I'll explain this command and the various options. So, I'll give a sketch command using the keyboard. And I can just left click the mouse and I move the mouse to start drawing. Then I just left click once again to stop drawing. Now the drawing which I have created is in the green color that means it's not recorded. So just give an enter to record the drawing. Now just look at the command prompt area. You can see that there is around 182 lines recorded. Okay, well let us take a close look on what you have drawn. Here this sketch profile is made up of several segmental lines. In AutoCAD sketch command you can control the object type that is generated through sketch command. So let's give sketch once more and there is an option called type over here. I'll type the letter T to access type and the object type can be lines, polylines or splines. Now I would like to change the object type to polylines. So type the letter P and you can just click to start sketching. Okay, then you click once more to stop sketching. Now just give enter to record. Just click on this to see that it is a single profile because you have chosen the object type as polylines. The sketch command has an increment option. So I'll type the letter I to get this option. And increment controls the minimum length of a segment that is created using this command. Next we will try the next object type in the sketch command. So I'll go to a type option and I'll change the type to spline. Okay, now there's an option called tolerance using which you can control how closely the spline follows the drone path. So I'll go to tolerance and it can take values from 0 to 1. Presently the tolerance is set at 0.5 so I'll just give an enter to accept it. Now I'll try to sketch the figure of a coconut tree using spline as the object type. I'll start by sketching the leaves first. I'm not a very good artist but still I'll just make a try to make it. Okay, I'll just give an enter to record it. Now I'll copy this using the copy command. I'll choose my base point as well as the second point and I'll scale down the copied version of the coconut tree using the scale command and I'll give a scale factor of 0.7. Next I'll rotate the copy using the rotate command with this as a base point and I'll give a small rotation and I'll move to keep it slightly towards the first tree. Okay, now I can insert this figure to any elevations. Simply by changing the color of the leaves and the trunk, you can make it even more impressive. Now you can exercise your freehand sketching skills in AutoCAD using the sketch command.